Hello from the wide open plains of Eastern Hungary, dear road trip lovers. We just crossed the border coming from Romania at the Vershan Gyula border crossing point and are gonna travel all the way to Ketkemet on the National Road F44 and the new Expressway M44. We start exactly at the border near the town of Gyula, located in the Great Hungarian Plains. It is a regional center here in this part of the country, having a population of about 30,000 inhabitants. The town is interesting from a tourist perspective, as there is a beautiful castle dating uh, back from the 14th century here, as well as some older buildings with an interesting architecture, such as the city hall from 1861, the St. Michael Cathedral or the Roman Catholic Church. The thermal baths are also a very good reason to visit Gyula. They were established in uh, 1942 and expanded in 1959. The whole spa complex is very big and definitely worth a visit. Uh, so also the prices are being relatively low from a Western European perspective. I will also have to, to check some during my next visit here in the area. The National Road F44 bypasses Gula on the southern side and becomes a two lanes per direction road further on to Bekeschaba. The two towns are just about 15 kilometers apart. Bekeschaba is the seat of the Bekesh County and with about 60,000 inhabitants the biggest town in this part of Hungary. The town dates back to the 14th century but it suffered a lot of destruction during the Ottoman occupation. After the Ottoman occupation ended towards the end of the 17th century, Slovak settlers were invited uh, here to settle here to populate the almost deserted area. And by 1847, it was among the 20 largest Hungarian towns with a population of about 22,000 inhabitants. The railway reached the town in 1858, bringing economical development. And after the First World War, the importance of Pekeschaba increased a lot after Arad and Oradia were ceded to, to Romania and the town became the most important in this part of Hungary. After 1950, it developed into a center for food industry. There are some interesting tourist sites also in Bekeschaba, like the great and small Lutheran churches, the cathedral and some regional museums. There is also here a big thermal bus complex called Arpad Spa and Bus. They are located close to the town center and became a large city beach in the 60s, starting from a small hot water bus at the beginning of the century of the 20th century. They were reconstructed during the last 20-25 uh, years and are now an important tourist attraction here in the town. Our road, uh, the F44, bypasses Bekeschaba to the north and from the bypass we will directly enter the M44 expressway. It's a great piece of infrastructure built uh, during the last years that improved a lot the connectivity to this somewhat remote region of Hungary. As we drove there in October 2021, the last part of the expressway from Kecskemet to Tizakurt was still in uh, was still under construction, but we still enjoyed the, the about 80 kilometers of good quality smooth road. And from the actual end of uh, M44, we are driving further to Kecskemet back on the F44 National Road through a mostly forested area between Tisza River and Kecskemet. We also had uh, great uh, weather on the way and enjoyed the lots of autumn colors and the wide open views uh, as we travel through the great Hungarian plains. And now let's discover this area with some music and I'll be back in Kashkemet to say a few words about this important city. So sit back, relax and enjoy the ride.
And hello once again, this time from the northern bypass of Keshkemet. We are heading to the M5 motorway, but let's say a few words uh, now about Keshkemet before ending the video on the M5. Keshkemet is situated halfway between the capital Budapest and the important city of Szeged in South Hungary, about 80 kilometers away from both of them. Keshkemet is uh, it's a nice stop on the way with uh, some uh, really beautiful Hungarian Art Nouveau buildings in the, in the city center. Also economically, Keshkemet with a population of about 110,000 inhabitants is doing very well with one of the lowest unemployment rate from the whole country due to many investitions from outside the country. Also Daimler has a, a quite a big factory here. And um, now I will end the video. You're on the northern bypass of Keshkemet, as uh, we will we are joining the M5 motorway. Hope you enjoy the trip through East Hungary and stay tuned for more videos from our road trips. Bye bye until the next time.